Hey folks, so um, I'm working on a new build and the boys at Full Send have graciously kitted me out with uh, some really cool gear and I wanted to talk a little bit about this gear because it's new, it's fresh on the market, right? Um, and that's the BN Matrix 2 motor mounts. Oh, there they are. They're mounted, ready to rock and roll. What I liked about these mounts is that there was only five screws holding everything in place. Well, to be real, only one screw locking it in place and four additional screws to make sure it never comes apart ever again. And I'm gonna tell you a bit about that right now. So, uh, it's common, motor mounts come typically in two pieces. You got the first piece that clamps onto the truck and then you've got the, uh, the shaft piece as well and that shaft piece clamps onto that uh, truck piece. Fairly universal uh, with your caliber twos or your matrix two, matrix threes or any other mount for that matter. Um, so once the mount was positioned uh, correctly, so the belts and the motors all aligned, this big ass nut was loctited and screwed in. And I made sure that these ones were just a little bit loose. And the reason why I did that was because this is a clamp, right? So that clamp, when you're screwing in that nut, that clamp's gonna close. So those screws, there's uh, tolerance within those holes that allows that clamp to screw in um, and really get a good solid grip on this, um, I don't wanna use the word shaft too often, right? It sounds sus on the uh, truck. So you've got a good grip on that truck, right? Then once you torque down these four screws as well, what that does is it goes into ensuring that that clamp, there's no way it's ever gonna open back out again. Just because of the amount of force by those four screws preventing it from opening it back up in addition to that one big ass screw in there. So once that's all loctited in and solid, ready to go, so that big ass screw is the first one you talk down, loctite it, put it in place, leave these a bit loose, and then once it's in place, you talk them down, loctite them and talk them down, let it cure, and once it's cured, that is solid, man. That is not moving, you could hang off that. They are ready to rock and roll. Um, so five screws, to put these mounts on and hold them in place and they are super rock solid, super secure and they look pretty sexy, right? We'll zoom in um, so you can see some close-ups. All right. I do like the round ends. They do look really neat. So they're the four screws. I do like how um, you've got fixed positioning across the mounts. Right, so you can see here the that bolt goes right through there, and that torques that clamp right down. And then once you've tightened those four up, there's no way that that is coming apart again. Um, I think it'll be virtually impossible for it to come apart again. So it's a really clean system the way you go about installing them. Um, so yeah, so that is the mount. Get it from another angle, there it is. Everything looks so clean and shiny when you haven't driven through the mud. It's so cool, right? Um, Ali stays that way for about 20 minutes after it's left the shop, right? After that, it's fucked. Um, so yeah, being motor mounts, really cool bit of gear. Um, thanks to the boys at Full Send for sending them over to me um, as well. And they're gonna be paired with these bad boys right here. So these are 6385s. Now they are um, 205 kV. A lot of folks have been going that 170. I'm not a fan of going that 170, especially for this size can. Um, there's enough torque in it already in this motor. You can afford to go up kV. Um, so um, going the 205 is the right, I think it's the right decision for a 12S setup, right? If they were your smaller cans, then I could understand going that low KV because that, that those motors do have less torque.
just because of their size, but you're not going to have this issue here. Also, the first thing I do whenever I, I am going to start a new build is I lock tight all my motor pulleys, motor mounts, I get everything that involves Loctite out of the way first up. Uh, there's nothing worse than finishing a build and having to wait 24 hours to go for a ride. That sucks balls. So, um, yeah, so green Loctite, 641 um, on the keyway and on the shaft, grub screws, blue Loctite, 243. And these shafts, they are a little longer, so I, I trim 10 millimeters off the shaft. And that has come out really nice, neat, and flush. So the motors are ready to rock and roll, and they're cured. And the motor mounts are ready to rock and roll, and they're all cured. So I've got to finish everything else off, and then we can um, reconvene and take a look at some of the other components that have gone into this kick-ass build. Thanks for tuning in. We'll speak again soon. Adios.